our guys, um, you know, to, to get an opening season win um, against a obviously always tough rival and a, and a group that always plays hard um, and with, with a lot of different parts, a lot of guys getting their first action um, and, and the weather being what it is. Uh, I thought the guys showed a lot of heart and toughness. Um, certainly not the cleanest game, but I'm really proud of how hard our guys rode. Um, I thought, you know, getting five back there um, and being good off the ground, because if you take off the face-offs, um, you know, that's six that they get from face-offs, um, and we still out-ground balled them, but, you know, you take those six away. I thought our guys in other situations did a really good job. Um, so. Uh, it's certainly a team effort, uh, great week of prep. Our scout team was awesome. Uh, Coach Bernhardt did a terrific job with the defensive game plan. You give up four goals. Um, you're certainly proud of that and uh, had some great efforts. Uh, Michael Adler, in really his first significant time, did a tremendous job. Um, you know, Roman Puglisi uh, did a tremendous job as well. So uh, really proud of our guys just uh, just kind of slide and recover and, 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 and really working. Um, and, and really, when things got tough, the leadership, I think, of our seniors really came through. So um, obviously a lot to work on, um, a lot of things to, to try to fix. But, uh, um, you know, obviously we got a quick turnaround here and get, get better um, just because we're, we know that Maris is a pretty darn tough team. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Coach, uh, three goals from Bubba and a goal from Ethan and a goal from Logan. Got to be happy with you know that kind of production from guys you might not expect it that fast. Yeah, I think this year's team, and you know certainly Timmy can talk to it. I think that that's going to be one of our potential strengths. You know, hopefully, is that um, you know certainly a lot of you know Timmy's done such a great job, and so have, and so is Connor, and so everybody knows about them. But we have some other good parts, and um, I think that hopefully is what will make this team a little bit harder to defend. Is you know it could be someone new every week. Um, that steps up and uh, allows us to not be maybe so pre uh, predictable. Um, and maybe we could play a lot of different guys. You know, I, I thought Kyle Giblin did a good job and it really hurt his first action. Um, you know, showed a lot of points out there. Logan obviously uh, made some really good choices. So I think that's the way this, this team will be built. Um, and again, it may not be as many household names, but uh, again, we just try to find ways to win and whatever we need to do, these kids have, have shown that they're willing to do. Coach, one thing you said um, at media day was Bubba was someone who sort of stood out in this group of freshmen. Was there a point where you realized that he would be able to contribute so immediately and that he would be able to contribute the way he did today? Um, you know, Bubba's an interesting guy. I think that extra year last year, um, you know, doing a post-grad year, just, you know, having been away from home a couple times now, he was down um, at the Calverton School and then he was up at Deerfield. So he's lived away from home, so he's got a different um, experience versus a lot of the kids that are away from home for the first time. So um, he's a little bit more um, in terms of emotionally um, mature. I think he just, he, he's a little bit more, like it's hard to take him off his line. He's just, you know, he's always in a good mood. He's always positive. Um, he never gets too high or too low. Um, he certainly has good size and a good skill set. Um, and, you know, he's a guy who works tremendously hard. So it, it didn't take too long. I think the big thing for us in the fall is for the other guys to see what we saw um, and let guys play themselves into, um, you know, starting spots because there are a lot of kids that have already been there and have worked really hard. So um, I think if you rush those guys in, it's not good for your team dynamic. So I think Bubba, after a while, it was pretty evident that he was going to play. It was just going to be a matter of where um, and in what line. Coach, what's the situation with Curtis Cor I mean, with um, Bryce Young. Uh, Bryce Young, uh, yesterday was a very interesting day for us. Um, uh, we found out yesterday, um, mid-morning that, that Bryce um, had an injury. He had played last week in our scrimmage and he had practiced all week. Um, and then, uh, you know, our trainer called yesterday and said, hey, we got to shut him down. Um, so he is kind of week to week right now. Um, you know, just in terms of protecting the guys, we're not going to talk about what the injury is. Uh, I would say he's week to week. He'll be back. Um, I feel very comfortable that he will be back. It'll just be a matter of when they clear him. 
Um, so it was a little bit crazy yesterday just because that was short notice and candidly uh, about an hour after that Connor Kelly um, called and he was sick and he was up all night with food poisoning so we didn't know if he would play. Um, so it was an interesting morning. Um, we probably went back to the coffee machine a little more than normal. Um, but. Uh, again, it was like, all right, you know, let's make sure that we have all our bases covered. And we always talk about it, a next man mentality, and next man up. And uh, I thought the kids really bought into that. Um, you know, again, Coach Bernhard tweaked some things with Bryce being out. He's such an uh, experienced guy. Um, he calls a lot of our signals. Uh, but Michael Adler just did a tremendous job. He, he basically stole two possessions, diving to back up uh, the goal. And he's a guy that's worked really hard on the scout team. So I think the guys have a lot of confidence in him. Uh, got a little dicey late because um, Michael actually started cramping and then Nick Brozowski banged knees. Um, so <laughs> we were definitely going down the depth chart. Um, so um, luckily we got out of there. Uh, we tried to sub a lot late just because of a quick turnaround on Tuesday. Um, so uh, we, we got some guys some action, which is good, and hopefully got some of these guys some rest. Um, and Steven Schallenberger, somebody had asked about them, uh, about him. Steven had a, a great fall for us. Uh, Steven, unfortunately, uh, he has an injury. He won't be back this year, just in terms of being transparent with you guys. Like, he will not be back. Um, his season's over. Um, so, again, we're not going to talk about it. I mean, you, if you see him, you could probably guess it. Uh, but he won't be back. I just want to make sure I'm not BSing with you guys. Hey, Danny, what did you see from the defense in front of you? I mean, their first midfield was two for 19 shooting. Those are pretty good players. I mean, I thought our defense did a tremendous job. Um, you know, like Coach said, uh, Adler was the next man up uh, kind of late this week. But uh, I thought they did a great job. Uh, Coach Bernhard always has a great game plan for us, and they followed it um, really well. Um, you know, our scout team all week was banging heads with us. They kicked our butts for most of the week. Um, so they got they did a really good job preparing our, our guys and, and giving me shooting looks um, and things like that. So I just thought our defense did a really, really good job today. Dan, well, that's what uh, Coach from Navy was saying, that one thing that never changes with Maryland is their defense. Regardless of names and faces change, the general tenor of the defense is the same. Can you talk about that, even with different parts? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, everyone knows uh, Maryland has a lot of pride in their defense. Um, it's always been a, a defensive powerhouse um, program. Um, so we take a lot of pride in that. And, you know, we have Coach Bernhardt, who's an alum, who's a great player here, who um, really instills that kind of defensive powerhouse culture in us. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we've, since I've been here, we've always lose great players, but then we always have guys step in um, to roles, and they, um, you know, develop and get better, and they become great players themselves. So um, every year, I think we just pride ourselves in great defense, and we try, we're going to try and do that this year as well. Was Young going to guard terrain? Um, no, that wasn't the plan. No. Corley was always going to get Ray. That seemed to be the, the one matchup we knew. Um, and then it was, candidly, we had a couple different plans. Um, we wanted to watch them Sunday to kind of see who was playing with who. We, we had a couple different plans. We didn't know, candidly, you know, with Little, like we didn't know the nature of his injury. We thought he would come in, um, but we didn't know. We thought, okay, was... Reese going down because Little was out, and if Little comes back, do they bump Reese back up, or do they keep him at attack and then bump him to the midfield? Um, so we had to kind of have some parts moving around. We, we liked our matchup there, candidly, with Jack Welding. I thought Jack did an awesome job today uh, for a guy that didn't play a lot. Did, uh, we have so much respect for Wade. He, he is a really good player. Um, and Jack, um, you know, had some moments early, but really got into a groove. Um, and we slid and recovered so much today. Um, we really, down the stretch, candidly, were on our offensive guys just to give them a break because they were exhausted. Um, so, uh, but those schemes, like, you have to slide and recover and be on point because if you don't get out to those shooters, they'll kill you. If you don't get out and crowd their dodgers, they'll run by you. And if you open yourself up, like, basically 4 and 45 will cut you to death inside. Um, they have a really good offense. Uh, I think, listen, the, the weather probably didn't help the cause today for either offense. Um, you know, we were able to get a couple ones, um, you know, one off a ride. Um, uh, I think actually two off rides and then one off a ground ball inside. So I don't think either team's lit it up offensively. Um, and that could have helped our, 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 our plan. Tim, with the uh, departure of the attack last year and everything, seems like you've taken up a, maybe a new leadership role on the offense. I mean, I just got that feeling watching you today. It seemed like you were and Connor were like the directors per se. Do you feel that way? Not really. I feel like all six guys we have this year are, are, are very good players. Um, I feel like we can dodge from anywhere. We, we're all cutters. We're all 
you know, we could all play every position. So I feel comfortable uh, with anyone initiating, with anyone finishing. So um, I do feel like it's my job to get the offense kind of organized and, and moving the way it should be. But I don't feel like I have to initiate or, or I'm, you know, the guy or Connor's the guy. I think we all are pretty pretty well-rounded players and, and we all trust each other to do uh, to do the to make the right play um, at the right time shots came your way today yeah you know uh, if I get to the middle I'm gonna gonna try and get a shot I think uh, Bubba was very opportunistic today Connor was keeping his head up Jared was keeping his head up so I think we're moving it pretty well today Dan and Tim what were your reactions to Bubba's day today and is there anything that he did either during offseason practices or even this week leading up to the game that impressed you and sort of Made you say, "Hey, maybe could have this kind of season for us." Um, I wouldn't say it was this week. I'd say it started in August. Uh, he was a guy right when he stepped on campus. He was in my and Connor's ear about you know shooting this and that, dodging slides. You know, he he wanted to learn, and I think uh, it's it's no surprise that he was in the position he was today. I think Connor and Jared are two guys that are going to draw a lot of attention, and uh, he's he's you know spoken with us at length throughout you know the the last whatever six seven months about where to be, how to play with people. So um, he knew when, you know, Jared and Connor getting slides, he knew where to step in and, uh, you know, reading the scout, he knew where to put it. I time for one more.